We've been building a lot of rig walls and it feels like it's a huge math problem, but I found a simple solution. A roof is defined by a ratio of a rise and run. So what that means is how much the roof rises per every uh, 12 inches of run. So for example, you would get 112, 212, 312, etc. Great, and given that it's a ratio, it means that we can multiply it or divide it as long as we use the same values on both sides. So let's divide it by eight. Let's simplify and now we get rise over eight by one and a half. And what's one and a half? That's right, your typical two by lumber. Let's take, for example, a 412 pitch roof. This simplifies to half and one and a half. This will help you verify the angle of your saw because we know one side will be half an inch longer. Now let's figure out how to compute the heights of the studs within a rake wall. First, define the height of the stud of one of the sides of the wall. If you chose the short stud as your reference, all future studs will be measured from the low side. If you chose the long stud, all your future measurements will be done from the high side. Now mark your layout as you normally would. We prefer to measure from the long stud and the full distance, but it works either way. Ratios can be equated to one another, so let's come up with a generic equation to get our calculation, where L is our layout length and X is our rise, and now if we solve for X, we obtain our generic equation. Now let's take for example a 412 pitch. We plug in our numbers and we end up with an equation of x equals L over 3. In this case, L is 112 and that gives us 37 and 5 16 if we round it to a tape measure value. Now let's subtract this value from our reference stud. If our reference stud is 100 inches, we end up with 62.6666 inches. So that's approximately 62 and 11 16. The point of all of this was to demonstrate that you can divide by a very simple number such as 3, 4, 6. You don't really need to break your head calculating these rake walls. In some cases you might not even need a calculator. This table shows you the different roof pitches and some of the equations. For example, if you took your high point as reference, you basically subtract the number that you came up with. If you took the low point as reference, you just add the number that you came up with. Hopefully this was not too confusing and uh, you find it useful as well.